Oh, there we go. The lovely Nia, everybody. Woo-woo. Happy birthday to Yay. you. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Woo. Happy birthday, dear Nia. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Ah, yeah. Sorry. That was beautiful. Oh, it was. <laughs> In its own s- sad way. Um, how'd you like your cupcake? I loved it. There you go. You made me a cupcake. My favorite kind of cupcake, too, which is very sweet. You taste it all right? Put it a little candle. Delicious. Put a little candle Pull right a in. Put a little candle in it. Saying it was yeah, happy very birthday. adorable. That was very nice. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, and you didn't I mush it in my it. face. I did it. All right. Well, happy a, birthday. A, a whole bunch more that you made, so, you know. Well, that's the thing. All my recipes. Stay on your P's and Q's, sweetheart. <laughs> well, the thing is, is all my recipes come from my mother. Mm-hmm. So they all serve like 10 people. So Right. Well, and most that, cupcake recipes are going to be for like they made more than 30. one. They Yeah. I stopped after I went two rounds through it. What did I make? What is it? What was it? Was there six in a tray or eight in a tray? Yeah, uh, there's, I mean, there's like eighteen nobody, or twenty of them out there. Yeah. Uh, well, nobody makes one cupcake, so yeah, any kind of recipe is going to. Well, be why don't you like, just make like like six? Six is perfect. They never think about like they don't. They never think about the lonely people <laughs> when they make a cookbook. Well, the thing is, you could put enough batter in for six and cook the six and then freeze the rest of your batter and just have it for the next time you want to make cupcakes. So it's not like it's a complete waste. But oh, you know, all right. who's going to give you the exact measurements for like one or two cupcakes? That's that's silly. Well, you know Baking what? Baking doesn't I work think, like that. Yeah, that'd be a great idea for a cookbook. What? For the, cupcakes the, for one? No, the, the loner, the loner cookbook. <laughs> the loner. Oh, or oh, like just single. That's a good idea. Yeah, like yeah. sitting there trying to do the math. You know, it serves eight. It's just like I'm 22. I'm trying to make spaghetti over here. <laughs> Why don't they just make but it? But that's why you have left. But the thing is, that's why it's good to have leftovers. You freeze the shit and you have it for later. Well, it's know? not It's not bad now because you can go on the internet like today. I'm sitting there looking at that fucking cane sugar. And they're asking me in the bag it says two pounds of cane sugar. And they wanted a certain amount of ounces. And I'm sitting there and all I have is like a quarter cup. So I go... I was like, how many cups are in a pound? And they're like, well, cups is more of a, like a, a size. Yeah. Not a size. What is the word? Like a, like a, they, they couldn't figure, like, it's not a weight. Mm-hmm. A cup is not a weight. It's mm-hmm. more like a fucking handful kind of mm-hmm. looking at it like that. So okay. what I actually did was I took out one of your little sports fucking things that you drink out of that has ounces on the side. Yeah, so they put I, the protein shakes in. Yeah. Oh, that works. Yeah. Well, that's why the, the thing was a disaster. <laughs> Once I got out, it looked out like there. a bakery exploded in there. There's yeah, flour everywhere. Yep, mix this like caked on the the countertops and on the floor and yep. dried little white puddles. That's right. <laughs> You're like a little kid. Whenever you go That's in why to I like- make something, you make the <laughs> biggest fucking mess I have ever seen. The kitchen is a disaster. That's area. why I like it. You've got like stains all over your apron. You know, you're sweating a little bit. <laughs> you're hairy. You're like <laughs> slipping around in your socks in the kitchen, sliding around in flour. You're all like stressed out. You're all red in the face. I wasn't stressed out. You weren't stressed out this time, but other times you've made stuff. It's been funny. That's when I was. I've learned to stay away. Well, here's the thing. The kitchen. No, no. Here's the thing. That was that was the younger me, who flipped out ago? all. T- no, I didn't <laughs> flip out a year ago. Just quit going for the joke. Come on, I'm getting better. Um, yeah, and also back in the day, I didn't have an apron. You gotta have an apron. You gotta have an apron. Your apron, your fans are all messy. You just bleh, right on the yeah. front of them, and you just, you just, yeah, you just keep marching forward. <laughs> you leave the casualties behind you. It's right. fucking phenomenal. Mm-hmm. Um, it was delicious, though. I really appreciate it, and your I, gifts were amazing. Of course they were. You killed it this birthday, honey. Of course I did. And you know what? You know I killed it because you always figure out what I'm gonna get you. Is I just played like I was a moron. I really hate that. Though, and can I just say, I really, you drove me crazy with that yesterday. You were driving me nuts. You were actually mad at me. That was the I was thing. trying not to be, but you were really pushing my buttons. You were trying to make me mad. See, that's the thing. You're huh? toying with me. No, huh? You know exactly what I'm talking about. 
I emailed you something like a month ago to this say, hey, all... if you're wondering what to get me for my birthday, because I know you're busy, I know you're on the road, and all this other stuff. Oh, look so at I'm you acting to help like you're you considerate. Out. Like so you're considerate. I am. I'm telling you what I want. Also, you know, it's like I'm not like a little kid. You know what I mean? I got to tell you exactly what I want to like give you, lead you in the right direction. What, do little kids say, they, what, say what they don't want? Well, I mean, you know, you just, there's a little kid has a birthday. You're like, hey, I have a toy. Get out of here. Beat it. But when you're older, <laughs> Is that what happens? you have like specific things that, you know, maybe you'd like to get. So you let people know. My parents ask me all the time, what do you want for your birthday? What do you want for your birthday? Because nobody has time to sit around and like figure out what do you want. So, you know, isn't I that what, what I, I did want. this year? But that's what you did because you took what I wanted and then you kind of riffed on it and you got a bunch of stuff. To surround. No, it was, it was wonderful. But my point is, you made me crazy. I don't like how you still took credit. You, you took what I said and then you riffed on it. No, I didn't. I actually well, listened to you this year and I, from months ago and I figured out what the fuck you wanted. And then you did your usual thing because you are an what? organizing you, – like yeah. you, you you're an organized person. Literally to the point that you're organizing my shopping for what I get you. Now, one of the great things about giving somebody a gift is the surprise. Where yeah, they're it's like, not a surprise where when you like, take me out to brunch and you're like, all right, I got to get you home because I got to go shopping for your birthday. Like, the, how's that supposed to make me feel? I'm sitting there like, uh, okay. This is why. This is why I did that. Because you emailed me something and I knew you wanted this shit. Yes. Okay? Now, if I just went out and got it for you, mm-hmm. I mean, why don't I just fucking, you know, when the, when the mailman comes... He hands it to me, and then I throw it at you when you're <laughs> sitting there. It takes no fucking imagination whatsoever, right? right? So I knew you wanted it. I knew I was going to get it for you, but I'm like, how the fuck is it still a surprise that she gets it? So what I did was I acted like I wasn't – and I already knew the other things that I, were gonna, I was going to get. I knew where the hell they were. Uh-huh. I waited to the last second to get it. So you thought I was like a, a, an unthoughtful jackass and it worked like a fucking charm. Why would, you buy, why would you make yourself seem like you know a last-minute jackass like that? Like why would – just to torture me. And I'll tell just you what. Just to torture me because you can't just give me the gift and be like, here you go, honey. You have to have some other little thing where you throw me off my game. You get me all in a tizzy and then it's like, oh. Oh, wait, he actually did the perfect thing. Why? Why do you play those Because games? That's exactly the type of thing that you accuse women of doing. And you do it to me all the time. <laughs> this is why. Because when I don't do that, you guess exactly what I'm going to get you. And it's fucking annoying. Well, it's fucking and I wrap something. You already know what's in it. You make me feel like an idiot. Why do you feel like an idiot? Just because I guess what it is. You don't guess. You peek. You look. That no, time I when don't. I came, when I went Christmas shopping... Oh my God! Are we really I, gonna I, have this conversation? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. I told you yes, that we I are. did not see what you brought. This is when you know you're going to bring up a good point with your woman, and she immediately starts trying to talk over you. I do the same thing. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> so I'm pulling up in the car. You knew I was going Christmas shopping for you. I'm getting out of the car. I open the hatchback to our sweet, innocent little hybrid, right? <laughs> I take the bag out that has the name of the fucking store on it. And I glance, I honestly didn't and I glance over at the house, and you're <laughs> standing there like a specter looking out the window. I have been waiting. My fucking you heart. Wait. My heart like jolted when I looked up. You, you, no. You had a creepy look on your face. <laughs> no, you were doing something you were sneaky. Up and I was like waving at no, you. No, you weren't. And then you didn't see me. Can so I show you? Can I show you what you were doing? You have sh- all right, fine. You can this, show me. This is, I've seen you do this before. This is what you were doing. I looked when I, I'm looking at the house and I look up and you were like this. <laughs> Nobody can see, but so what? You're sitting there looking like some weird like stalker. That's what you killer. were doing. No, I didn't. Yes, what you were doing. You're a spoiled no, brat, and you, you you wanted to see what was I'm in the not thing. A spoiled brat. Don't yeah, you say are. that. All right, you're spoiled. If I'm spoiled, it's because you spoil me. Oh God, blaming the victim once again. <laughs> the victim. No, here's yes, the deal. You're such a victim. No, that's why I did it. I like to try to surprise you. If I'm going to spend so all my fucking money on on some goddamn thing here, I want you to. Oh, you're I, so I, tacky. I, I want. I want to see. So tacky. Oh, to throw how much money it costs for you to get your say- birthday present in my face. You didn't have to say how much it costs. Just by saying if I'm going to Am I really going to lose money, this? Am I going to lose this one? It's my birthday, so yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, let's go. No, let's, let's, it's get back because the, let's get back to the podcast over here. Yeah, because it's like a sport for you to figure out what the fuck I got you. It's annoying. It's I never tried. It's a sport tried. for you to always throw me off my game. You know what's a sport for me? Teaching you how to use a microphone. Just talk into it. Oh, okay. There you go. You couldn't hear me before? Well, I hear you, and then you're over here. 
No. You only go over here when you're imitating somebody else. That's what you do. Or when you go, lady. Yeah. Like that. There you go. <laughs> That's all it is. That's the mic technique. There you go. Oh, look at this. I'm out in my office. I'm, I'm, I, you know, my wife is still telling me to do shit through text message. All right. Will you take out the trash in the kitchen? It just occurred to me that the cauliflower is going to stink up the joint. <laughs> All right. Is that what just occurred to you? All right. I'm going to get into a fight. Here we go. Here's my response. Hey, Nia, it just occurred to me that you have two legs and two arms. Throw it out yourself. You know? When did I become uh, fucking Gary Garbage? Oh, why, did I, why did I end on that? I had you, and then I Gary Garbage. I fucking tanked. You know what? This is great. I can erase that message. Let's do take two. All right. Hey, sweetheart, you know what I just realized? You know what just occurred to me is that you have two legs and two arms and a brain that could tell you to go use them to go down there and throw that stinky ass cauliflower in the fucking trash. I love you. That was a better one. See how it sounds. All right. Hey, sweetheart, you know what I just realized? (laughs) This is my fucking entertainment. Um, You know what's funny is it did smell like shit. Gary Garbage. I got to get back on a comedy stage. I, I, am, I am literally regressing. This is like you play guitar and you just stop playing. Then all of a sudden you're going to go back to just being playing some big gig and you're up there going. Bah, 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 bah. Um, that was supposed to be a guitar. Me playing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Um, the fucking cauliflower smelled like shit, right? I was roasting up some vegetables. And, you know, my sense of smell has been gone for years. I don't know what happened. I breathed in too many chemicals when I was younger, working in a dental office. Somewhere along then, I just lost this, my sense of smell. Um, and, but that shit, I could just, I, so I walked in the living room. I was like, honey, does this smell bad? She goes, oh, my God, it's terrible, right? So I went to throw it in the trash. It was in a little plastic container. I was like, oh, wait a minute. It's going to stink up the fucking kitchen. So what I did was I took out the tape gun. And I fucking went once around it to lock it down. So, yeah, you know what? I'm going to fucking send her another voice message. Wait a second. Yeah, not, not to mention uh, your dumb husband before he threw it into the, into the garbage. I, uh, I actually I did the tape gun on it so it wouldn't stink. All right? So there's that. So take it, you know? See, I'm off my game. Um, no, that was like, that right, was you know awful. what I need to do? In all fairness, I need to let my wife know that she, that those voice texts were on the podcast. So then she'll respond in hopefully in time where I can play it for you guys. Cause I don't have anything to talk about. Cause why don't I know my password on my fucking phone? All right, Nia, I got to be above board. Both of those text messages I did while doing my podcast. So, you know, the listeners root for you over me. I want to hear your, your fucking, your response. All right? We're at the end of the podcast here, people. I can't set something up and not have it follow through. Desperate times, desperate measures. Here we go. Come on, I'm calling her. I feel like on a morning, like, zoo show right now. We're going to call her at work and see what happens. That's two rings. Yeah. Did you get my last text? I did. Text the voicemail. That voicemail. I read both of those on the podcast, and the listeners who evidently like you more than me want to hear your response. <laughs> okay. All right. Think of a good one, sweetie, because I'm ending the podcast on it. All right. All right? No pressure. We either right. end with a laugh or you get blamed. What? What did you say on the podcast before you revealed, you know, before you did those messages? Oh, I just read your, I just read your text message. I said, oh, look at this text message. I go, I'm not even in the house. She's still telling me what the fuck to do. <laughs> All right. You know what? I got something for you. Goodbye. <laughs> All right. Oh, this should be a good one. This should be a good one. What the fuck did she say to me? I had my son's son hat on today. I just put it on my head because I knew it would be funny. But I was also, I had a bunch of other shit in my hand. And she goes, you look like 
What'd she say? She said, I look like an egg with something on top. It was fucking really mean. But this is, this is how I, this is, how, this is my belief. I don't give a fuck how mean it is. If it's funny, then you got to laugh at it. That's what right. I wanted to do. And then I was going to have an ice cream sandwich before I go to bed. Hey, there it is. There it is. Oh, God. 40 seconds, people. Okay, here we go. Press and play. First of all, you were the one that put the cauliflower in the trash can, knowing goddamn well it was all funky. And tomorrow's trash day, so it's just like you should have put it in the trash can, one of the barrels to begin with, and I wouldn't have to say anything to you. And I would also like to point out that I had a baby on me all day, and I, my body is still in recovery from... Oh, Jesus childhood. Christ. Remember that? Remember how I gave you two children? How I sac- sacrificed my body twice for you in this family? Yeah, you can take out the fucking trash. Okay, I, there's no fucking way we're ending on that. Sacrificed your body? Sacrificed your body collectively for 18 months. What are you going to do to my wallet for the next fucking 44 years combined? I will not be sending that. Okay. (laughs) You know, people, every once in a while, you know, if you're a smart married guy, you got to let him win. She didn't even come with humor. Jesus Christ. I think she just tried to fucking me to me. All right. I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave this. Well, you just took all the fun out of it. There we go. Okay, that was stupid. I, w- I, was, I, was, I was away from it. I was in the fucking garage. This is supposed to be my safe space. And what did I do? I fucked the whole thing up. I should have just taken the gun. Fucking unbelievable. She completely ignored that. I, I, I fucking put, I put a tape gun worth of tape around the fucking thing. It was in the fridge. You couldn't even smell it. Fucking thing. You're going to smell it in the goddamn... Look at me. Now I'm talking to myself. It's unbelievable. Ah, it's unbelievable. But you know, you got to love them. How's your wife doing? Is she doing okay? You know, that's what they do. Yeah, check in with the... Yeah, yeah. I'm good too, everybody. Don't fucking worry about me. I'll just take out the stinky fucking cauliflower and work myself to an early grave. Oh, Jesus. Is she fucking sending something else to me? Audio message. Oh, here we go. Audio message. What does it say? Audio message. Here we go. <laughs> you know I'm right, though. Uh, okay. Now, I should be old enough not to engage, but I'm going to. Hey, dumb dumb, I told you I fucking took out a tape gun. I actually put it in the trash at first open, and I was like, wait, it's going to stink up the kitchen. So I put a fucking, I took out the tape gun and went around the thing. It's, it's sealed. All right? Relax. But I'll go in there. I'll fucking throw it out. All right? You just fucking sit there and rest up. Okay? Watching, your, 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 watching those fucking whores selling those houses. Oh, there we go. All right, that'll do it. We'll leave it at that. Fucking goddamn fucking bullshit, you know? It's fucking unbelievable. When the fuck do they ever give it up? I love that whole thing. I sacrificed my body. No, you, you had unprotected sex is what you did, and then nature took over. Stop acting like you're, you're doing something. You're just laying there letting it happen. Whew. God, I didn't send that on a voice text. All right, speaking of uh, physical harm, the lovely Nia. Um, last night, she, um, she, she like bent down to get something out of her bag, and there's this little fucking ledge above it that she can stick like a couple of glasses and a bottle of water. And she was underneath it, bent down, came up full speed, and the corner of it hit the fucking top of she hit the top of her head right on the corner of it like brutally hard and um, I gotta tell you I feel bad that she's not part of this fucking little story here see if I'll bring her in because I failed miserably as a human being Nia do you want to be in on this story of you hitting your head okay I okay 
I'm setting it up now. So anyway, she fucking hits her head. I'm like fucking bam. All right. Sounded like somebody dropped a suitcase on the floor. And then I swear to God, she hit her head. She goes, ah, and she grabbed her head. And then I swear to God, she just started crying. Like a goddamn toddler. And I have to be honest with you. I didn't know what the fuck to do. I just got to the point near where you hit your head and you started crying like a toddler. And Why does it gotta be like a toddler? Because that's what it reminded me of. It's like when a little kid, like if an adult hits their, you know, stubs their toe, hits their foot, it's goddamn motherfucker. And then you blame your whole family. Get out of the living room. You know, that's what you do. Mm-hmm. You started crying. I did. It was really painful. <laughs> like bawling. Yeah. And uh, I was kind of surprised scale, at myself. On honestly. a scale of one to five, five being the best. Five. How would you, no, no. How would you rate my reaction to it? Oh, zero. <laughs> <laughs> we t- I, I went in and I got you some tissues. This is what Bill did. I didn't know what to do. It freaked me out. I hit my out. head. Boom. I was shocked at it first because it really did feel like someone had just come up and just walled me on the noggin. <laughs> so I was shocked. And then the pain started kicking in. And like, <coughs> it was really, re- like, it was like that little, it was, it was that corner the of corner, that ledge. Yeah. And it went right into my scalp. And I didn't know if I was bleeding or what. And I, I think, yeah, normally I'd be like, <laughs> like most people, but right. it just, I, I don't know what happened. Just the floodgates opened and it felt better to cry than to pretend like it was just like, oh, like a nuisance. Like it really, really hurt. So Bill's like, oh no. Are you okay? So we're good so what far. What else was I supposed to do? So we're good so far with that. Okay. And so I'm just sitting there crying. And he goes, oh, 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 oh. And he runs into the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even give me a tissue. Like a proper I couldn't Kleenex. find any. He gets me toilet paper. Okay. <laughs> if there is a choice between tissue paper and toilet paper to comfort someone, ah, please geez. find the Kleenex. Okay. It's softer. It's just, you know, it's just it's a little thing, but it makes a big difference. It's a cut up. So then he starts wiping my face <laughs> with the toilet paper, <laughs> and away. he's rubbing it on my face. No, oh, no. Wait. And he's wiping my shit. <laughs> he's doing like this U shape from my eye to the other eye, using my chin as like a go between. <laughs> it, it wasn't that rubbing, bad. Rubbing this fucking <laughs> one ply two toilet paper back and forth across my chin, <laughs> and he's going big tears, big tears. <laughs> They were huge. And it's like... I've never what, seen anybody cry tears. What is that supposed to mean? Was it big tears? Big tears. It wasn't like, <laughs> oh, baby, you know. It was... He was just scraping my face. I gotta be honest with, with you. With his toilet paper going, big tears, big tears. <laughs> I gotta be honest with you. It was fucking... It freaked me out. It was the worst moment of comforting you've ever offered in your life. Yeah, you, you were at a head. complete loss for what to do. Because it was like you stopped being like a woman and you became like this two-year-old. And it was just like, boom, and you're just like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, I didn't know what to do. If we were at home, I would have got you a popsicle or something. Oh, and then you said, do you want some water? <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck does water have to do with anything that's right what, now? That's what my parents always did. If you hurt yourself and you cried, they went and they got you water right out of the tap. <laughs> And then you sat down, and then your face was all dried and salty, and they said, all right, go back outside again. That's it. I spent most of my childhood outside. That's what parents did. All right, get outside. All right, you kids. You're driving me nuts. Get outside. And you just sent them outside. That's what you wanted to do with me in that moment. You wanted to send me away so you wouldn't have to deal with it anymore. I just wanted you to stop fucking crying. <laughs> I don't mean that in a bad way, but it's just like to see another adult. Nia, can you imagine if I, if I ever hit my fucking head and started crying the way you did? I mean, 
What would you know? What would be coming out of your mouth? I don't know. I'd be like, oh. come here, baby, and I'd hold you to my chest or whatever, Nia, and I'd rub your back. You're full of shit. If I fucking hit my head and started crying like a little <laughs> girl. Was it really that, like... It was like a little... It was like a little... Uh, I, it was... We went, st- I don't know, I'm fucking stammer here. <laughs> you stammering jackass. Yeah, I've known you for 12 years. I've never seen you... I've seen you, like... You see me cry before. A couple times in the and... kitchen, you fucking you, oh. you, you cut yourself with the knife, and even then, you didn't cry as much. That was like, you know, you had a balloon, and the thing <laughs> went, went off your wrist and floated up in the air. <laughs> there was just no comfort in you. It was, uh, yeah, I'll admit, I'll admit. Um, not only did I drop the ball in that moment, it's been 24 hours, and I still don't have a better approach. <laughs> it was so fucking bizarre. Don't ever do that again, Neil. All right. It, what do you talk? The thing is, the really sort of horrible thing about it, the the biggest injustice of it all, the fact that you weren't able to comfort me, is that I was trying to plug in your fucking computer. Isn't that thing. amazing? Isn't it amazing? I knew somehow it would come back to me, and it'd be my fault that your dumbass <laughs> ducked underneath a ledge and then lifted your head up. Ric Flair wouldn't have done it that hard to sell a fucking move. I didn't realize it was there. I was plugging in your computer, you and you had up. the audacity to be the worst comforting person in that moment ever. Scratching my face with that oh, yeah. one ply toilet paper while saying big tears, big tears, <laughs> which is like, what does that even mean? It's like I was out in the outfield in Little League again. No batter, no batter. Big tears, big tears. <laughs> he just kept saying, Sawing batter. He just kept saying big tears over and over again. What did that mean? You I, were just I, commenting on it. <laughs> I, I I didn't I didn't know what to do. I mean, you were crying at a fucking level. Like, I mean, I've been at funerals and seen people cry less than what the fuck you were doing. I didn't know what to do. Okay, I'm sorry. You caught me off guard. Well, tell me, what am I supposed to say? Are just give me a to, fucking you're blueprint. You're just supposed to like you know take me into your arms and like hold me and like you know rub my back or something. That sounds like a commercial for one of those love songs like Time Life Presents. Mm-hmm. It doesn't seem like a real thing that people do to well, each other. Well, I'm telling you that's what I would like. You asked me, so I'm telling you what I would like. I'd like your sunglasses to not be so big. <laughs> How about that? I'm channeling Jackie O on this trip. Jackie O, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> if you ever hit your head again and start crying like a two-year-old... <laughs> Just give me Kleenex, okay? That's all I ask. Don't give me toilet paper. Deal. I don't have to say anything? What do you mean you don't have to say anything? You have to comfort me, jerk. Give me three things to say. Are you okay? Come here. It's going to be all right. You cried way longer than that. Yeah. yeah. And you just have to, like, comfort me. Keep saying that? No. Are you going to be okay? (laughs) Come here. It's going to be all right. How disconnected are you from human emotion that I have to teach you how to comfort somebody? Okay. Let, let's actually bring some sort of comedy to this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you got really mad at me last night yes. before we went to bed. I'm not going to say who I was looking at either, all right? <laughs> yeah, Out of not. protection. <laughs> this is what happened to me. <laughs> Nia's fucking on her side trying to go to sleep, and I got the laptop. And I start doing the IMDB thing, and I'm looking, and I'm looking, and I'm looking. Huh. Yeah, she doesn't believe this. So I find, IMDb. I find some stylet, right? And it says that you know, she did a spread in Playboy. So I'm like, oh, really? Wow, I want to see her naked. So I go to click on images. I swear to God, I'm on Google Images, and. Some the second I clicked on one of the naked pictures, this other window came up with somebody talking who I don't remember what they were saying, but you know. immediately assumed that I was watching porn because when you click on a porn, that window that opens up behind those the window, webcams, those girls on the webcams, they pop up and they're like, hey, daddy. No, they don't. Da-da-da-da-da. They usually pop up and they go, ah, oh, yeah, I fucking <laughs> you try to sit go, what is it? First time you hear it, you're like, where's that voice coming from? Has somebody hacked into my computer and they're mocking the porn that I'm watching? And then you do it and it's just, oh, there's some fucking housewife sitting there yeah. with a pickle. Um, a <laughs> couple of kids running around the background. It's a oh, tough economy. God.
So she immediately assumed that I was watching porno. And I was like, I wasn't. And I literally backtracked through the fucking thing. I backtraced it. And I showed you what I was watching. And, and you I just, called you a fucking scumbag. Fucking scumbag. <laughs> piece of shit. <laughs> and then here it is. It's like, you're watching porn too if you know that that happens. Well, so? Well, all right then. But I'm not watching it fucking lying next to you in bed, you dirtbag. Which you were. And well, you if I if, no, if you're going if, to look at naked ladies on a computer next naked to what? me in bed, ladies, <laughs> <laughs> while lying in bed. So whether you're watching porn or not, I still stand by those harsh it's words. Playboy, I threw at you. it's artistic. Oh please, they don't show the clam there. <laughs> 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 they just show. A nice little, uh, you know. Yeah, and I heard that nice pop up muff. and that breathy little, oh, my God, this and that. And, hey, hey, hey. and I knew what you were doing, and I fucking screamed at you. Do you honestly you think? It. You fucking deserved right, wait a minute, it. Wait a minute. To lie next to me and be looking at porno <laughs> while in bed with your future wife, you fucking scumbag. I don't take any of it back. Wait a minute. You're a dirtbag, and you deserve <laughs> To be yelled at. Do you honestly think? In life and on the podcast. You know what's funny is we got such a great mattress here that I think I could actually rub one out without you noticing. That's, that's nice. That's what they that's should nice. do. That's what they should that's do in that commercial. Nice. You know that commercial where they have the wine on one side and the guy's jumping up and down? They should have some guy with his hand inside his I'm fucking sure jam jams, fucking jerking like this already. and looking at the camera, giving the thumbs up. Um, yes, yeah, well. I know you, just say, you just see the bedspread fucking. Yeah, yeah, we get it. So yeah, you so that's what you think I was doing. That's that is what you were doing. Maybe you weren't looking at actual pornography I was, videos. It wasn't pornography. Working, it was a nude. <laughs> <laughs> it was naked pictures of another fucking woman. You got caught, oh, yeah. and I screamed at you, and you fucking deserved it. All right. You called me a lot of harsh words. Well, you deserved it to do it while you're lying in bed next to me. What kind of man are you? <laughs> Would you take over to that level? <laughs> That might be the quote of the podcast. Oh, I just wanted to look at this naked girl, and then and, and what happens? I was tempted. You got found out. I was on IMDb in this oh, temptress please. with with her photos. IMDb, and what IMDb had a link to her right. fucking naked videos, and there's right. some other fucking pop ups that come up. You were caught. And here's a move for you guys, and you're trying to make it funny for all the guys listening right now. Oh, here's the move in this moment. Yeah. Hey, if I want to look at a naked broad on my goddamn computer. All right, I'm going to do it. You absolutely can. But well, to do right it then. while you're sharing our fucking would-be marital bed, I'm not going to stand for that. I'm going to call you names. I'm going to shame you. And that's how it is. It's impossible to shame me after my childhood. <laughs> you're shamed. That's why we're talking about it right now. No, I'm not. I'm just trying to bring up something fucking funny. Mm-hmm. Sacrificing me. Don't anyway, give me that fucking look. Give me a so break. So that's how it is. Yes, I looked at a fucking naked actress. All right? Uh-huh. There you go. And I enjoyed it. <laughs> And I'll do it again. No, you didn't, because I screamed at you, and it well, took that part all I the joy enjoy. away from <laughs> from you. There was a lot of shame. <laughs> no, I, I was so like so. You know what it was? I wasn't prepared. And then that lady's voice, ah, oh, yeah, fuck it, yeah. <laughs> and then you fucking rolled over, and you were just fucking in my grill. Mm-hmm. And I was sitting there just stuttering, trying to shut it off. <laughs> I couldn't find the mute button. It's unreal. Yeah. Well. You don't do that. That's rude. Hey, it, I didn't set out to do it. It's the internet. Eventually, you're going to you end up at a you fucking didn't naked set picture. Out to do it, you lied here with the specific intent of looking at a woman naked. No, I didn't. On the internet. Yes, you did. No, you I said, didn't. Oh, I want to see those pictures, and you clicked on it. No, that's not what I and did. And what you didn't uh, expect. You start in the middle of story. What you didn't expect uh, was there to be a pop up to you appeal to the kind of perverts over the head that you are. Money. And I to come rat home, you I out. buy stuff, I put food that's in the fridge. That's what happened. I can't look at one fucking broad. Let me tell you, you something. You absolutely can look at you yeah, on the road. I swear to God, I'm going to take one of these pillows and I'm going to put it over your face but until you shut it. to lie next to me in bed and be looking at some naked women and get found out like that, yeah, you're going to get called on it. What do you expect? I'm going to snuggle up tonight. Ooh, let's look at it together. Fuck you. <laughs> Oh, that might have been one of the greatest fuck yous I've ever had. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> oh, that was beautiful. That was a thing. Of, you guys got to admit, when it comes to fucking just laying somebody out and laughing them. <laughs> All right. Nia, I have to tell you this. 
What? I didn't go. I didn't t- open my computer and be like, I'm going to look at this naked girl while you're laying next to me. Mm-hmm. I went on ID- IMDb. Mm-hmm. And I'm such a weak, pathetic person mm-hmm. that within three you seconds, are. I ended up on that. But that's not. I'm like one of those guys who's fucking did the crime. This is second degree. This isn't premeditated. I didn't fucking walk in there like, I'm going to look at this girl. Okay. okay. I walked in. Okay. I saw the gumballs <laughs> sitting there. Stomach was growling. I said, fuck it, I'm grabbing him, and I got caught. So, yes, I did rob the fucking store, but I wasn't sitting at home going, you know what I'm going to do today? All right? This I just throw a naked woman in there, and you have the fucking explanation. This that you were looking at, you knew who she was. You knew that she posed naked. You knew, because you know who this person is, all right, without going any further. So for you to sit here and try to act like, oh, my gosh, I was just investigating someone's, like, acting history. Justin and Timberlake and showed Wiki, his fucking you know, blah, blah. wiener on the goddamn inter- internet. You'd look at it. What does that have to do with anything that we're talking about right now? Because you know what? You were right. You know what? You, were right. you know Can I what? Finish? You know Can what? I finish? Is that you're Can trying I finish? To you're trying to do Can that I classic, finish? you know, sort of. Can I finish? Three, you were right up until three minutes ago. Throwing other subjects in there to try to throw me off base, but you're not going to do that, Playboy, because I'm smarter than you. All, all right? right? All right. I'm let's not, let's not be quoting that. dialogue from a bad cop show. You're not going to do that, Playboy. Why don't you I put like your, li- your little gumball fucking siren on top of your non existent car? Listen to me. You were right up until three minutes ago. Which, which was now, mine. you know what you're doing? Now you're hamming it up. Oh, you're hamming, am I it, hamming up. it up. Yeah. In the podcast? You know what? That's Here we so go. That's different Here from what go. usually <laughs> happens on the podcast. Right. You should have ended with "fuck you." Can you please do that again? No. Fuck nah. you. <laughs> you. All right, there you go, people. That is the podcast. That's the neologue. That's the neologue. All right, listen. I'm sorry that I looked at a uh, talented actress naked. You know what do you want me to do? Talented actress? Huh? Will you shut up and stop outing the person? <laughs> you already fucking left like ninety clues. What is wrong with you? I didn't. Be mad at me. Don't be mad at her. I'm not mad at her. Okay. Well, then quit fucking doing that. All right? See, you're doing it it again. Keep it at me. No, I'm not. This isn't about her. This is about you. This is about you. And you know what? This is what happens. You know what? This this is what happens every night around 8 o'clock and 9 o'clock. And then she fucking drives me out of the house and I go out and do stand-up. Okay? which, are you going out Yes, I am. And you can watch all your stupid... What was that fucking show you were watching? Which one? The show about the swimmer who doesn't get anything but swimming. What would Ryan Lochte do? Oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He's, yes. ha- he's hamming it up. He's is hamming. he? Yes. I don't know that he is. He's traveled the fucking world. He's won gold medals. No, Nia, no. Yeah, no. You, th- you, you say like he's traveled the world and met with diplomats. He's traveled the world and jumped from pool to pool. He has met with diplomats. When he won a fucking gold medal, all of a sudden he get the key to the city. This guy's cut ribbons. He, okay, and he shakes yeah, hands. Yeah, he's, he's opened he zoos. The- this guy's opened zoos. Okay, <laughs> you, you're not that d- He's not that dumb. Ugh. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. But uh, he's hot, and that's really all that matters. Okay, Ultimately. and now now do I get upset that I'm sitting on a couch and you're sitting there looking at fucking... Oh, that's what you said the other night. You see, had this mm-hmm. look on your face, and I'm like, are you not enjoying this show? And you're like, no, I'm looking at those abs. Yeah, and if I was lying next to you looking at naked pictures or whatever of Ryan Lochte, then you would absolutely have something to say about it. So wait a but minute. But that's not what happened. No, no, no. I was watching a show. Well, okay, e. okay. So the bed bedroom is, is, is not cool. Yeah, the okay? bedroom is our fucking bedroom. It's where we... I know you what know, you do in a bedroom. It's a bedroom. It's a sacred Jesus space. Do you believe this shit, guys? It's a this? fucking would, would sacred space. Would you believe space. that okay? a swell guy Can like me would have, have to put swell. up with this shit? Can we not have the bedroom at least? Okay, but if, but if I did it in the living room, if I did it in the living room, that would have been okay? If I'm not in the bed with you, yeah, you're outside. No, 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 no. Mm-hmm. There's no, there's no bed in the living room. If I'm in the fucking living room. I can look at a picture of a naked woman on the computer. I, I swear, got no problem with that. I just want, okay. And then if I hit on the thing and all of a sudden the girl goes, ah, oh, yeah, fucking right there. Oh, my God. You're not going <laughs> to have a problem with that? Not in the living room, no. But while lying in bed next to me, that's a problem. I can live with that. So we're so we're Absolutely. So I apologize. I didn't know that that was the rule. And once again, Nia, I was just looking at a fucking picture. All right? I'm a fucking guy. She's a naked woman. Mm-hmm. What am I supposed to do? Go. It's you free. It's do? free. One click away. How do I resist? Do? As if you had no choice. 
I really don't. The way I'm wired, I don't. All right? Oh, please. I don't accept that. Oh, the fuck way you. Wired. You want to, Nia? What the if there was. I'm what? Wired, please. No, I don't accept really? that. Nia, what if there was a store you could just walk into and it was a bunch of free shoes? Are we in a store right now? Or Wait are we a in minute. the fucking bedroom? It's a fucking metaphor. It doesn't matter. We're not talking about metaphors. We're talking about what actually happened. I'm talking about how you're wired versus how I'm wired. Okay. We're you're wired, wired to get you like stuff. You guys, <laughs> you're into shit. You like hats. You like fucking shoes. If, if a free hat or a free pair hats. of shoes <laughs> was a click away... You'd fucking do that right in front of me in the bed. You would. A free and then hat. I'd hear, and I'd hear somebody, oh, it's a tiny too, it's a too, and a fucking. A free hat is not the same as what you were doing. It's just not. The end. Yeah, but and you not, started you're, to you're apologize not, not, for it, and now you're trying to backtrack. Because I was trying to fucking apologize, and you keep coming at me like a goddamn meerkat. I don't try to keep coming at you. You keep trying to, like, excuse yourself for what you did, and you know that it's wrong. Listen, you know what? I know you think that you're doing some amazing shit here where you're just not back in doubt, okay? Oh, God. First of all, what are you going to do to me, Nene? Huh? What are you going to do? Huh? You're going to body slam me? I'm bigger than you. I already said I'll I have no problem with you. I'll push you right off this fucking bed. Looking at porn or whatever it is that you do, I have no problem with that. But if you're lying in bed next to me, well, and we're then I, going and I, to and bed. I, and I said and okay. That, and I that's said. That's a fucking problem. I fucking said okay. I said you okay. And I said okay. So then we have nothing left to discuss. End of podcast. Why do women always take the ball and go home? <laughs> How old are you? There, I'm on that point. It's over. End end of game. I won. I'm going home. Huh? All right. Whatever. All right. That was the podcast for this fucking. <laughs> Look at me, that self satisfied laugh. All right. That's the that's the uh, neolog this week. It's you, therapeutic. As you can see, why uh, I don't have her on that much anymore. <laughs> I know. I'm never on anymore. It's because you're busy. Yeah, busy doing stuff. What are you doing? <laughs> Not doing shit. Chastising you. All right. See ya. Hagen Dazs is paying them for that. I know. So so they get money just to hold an ice cream cone, uh, which I'll take any fucking day of the week. So Seriously. Let, so let me ask you. You wouldn't take so money let me, to, let me, to, to no. eat Hagen Dazs. You no. love Hagen Dazs. If they were like Bill Burr, hundred thousand dollars. You and your wife come out of Hagen Dazs holding an ice cream. No. Cone. No, you wouldn't do it though. No. I know. Cause then, cause then I, I, then you become them. Then, then, then everything you say, I, I've, I'm, I'm still of that. I'm still of that, that old school thing, where, look, this, this is, the, this is, I've, I've come to this point as far as what I think selling out is. Mm-hmm. Selling out is not something that the fans decide. So I shouldn't. I'm not even a fan of this, but as, as an observer of them, I shouldn't say whether they sold out or not. It's yeah, I really think it comes down to the performer and basically selling out is when you don't want to do something, but you do it anyways because of the money. And then afterwards you feel fucking horrible to me. If that's what you feel like at the end of it, then then you you sold yourself out. You did. I don't think selling out doesn't even, I feel like selling out isn't even a real thing anymore. I just feel like that's How an antiquated crazy concept is that? is that. I feel like there's no, the idea of selling out. Yeah, there I don't know, is. It I, don't, I don't feel that it really truly exists anymore. Oh, okay. There are okay. just different right. platforms right. for artists to make money. And, you know, your time can come and go very quickly. So if you can get $100,000 for holding an ice cream cone and getting your picture taken, is that really going to, like, keep you up at night? Like, I can't believe I did that for the money, you know? No, I'm not saying it's going to. I'm not saying it's not going to. I'm going to say with some people it is and some people it isn't. Yeah, but you're, you're very you're, – but you are. You're very particular about where you choose to – do any kind of advertising and stuff because you care about stuff like that. So I understand. Yeah, like, look, I, I mean, but... I, I do like advertising on this podcast. I'm not against it. I'm not saying that, I mean, like, Jesus Christ, I mean, that's how this whole fucking business, I mean, I got to advertise for my shows and that type of thing. But it's, it's, it's like anything. It's like, hey, I like to drink. Then there's a point where you've drank too much. And you're making an ass of yourself. There's, there, <laughs> there are limits to everything. I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, this is like I'm doing this grassroots thing. I'm not saying that. Mm-hmm. But what I'm saying is like just that that whole selling out thing, I, I think it still exists, but it's, it's up to the individual. So I would never say that somebody – if I see somebody do a commercial, they sold out. It would have to come from them. 
It'd have to come from them where, where if they did it and then afterwards they're like, oh, my God, I was in all these great movies. Right. And right. next thing you know, I'm standing there doing a cell phone fucking commercial. And when I saw it, I just felt like, what did I do? What did I do to my image? Because this whole fucking game, you know, is, is constantly trying to stay ahead so they don't fucking pigeonhole you. And then also not stepping on a fucking landmine, which is doing a bad movie or putting out a bad special. There's all these different landmines that you're trying not to step on, but um, I, I, def- I, I think that there's there's always there's, there's definitely ways that you you can sell out. But like the the younger me would you, you know I bought into that whole Bill Hicks thing of like you know if you do a, do a commercial you're off the artistic roll call, and I and I was hardcore believing that, and then I you know just getting older and it's just like no look it's it it all comes down like it's your career. You do what you want. Look, th- right. th- there's people out there. Adam Levine does commercials for a proactive, but so do a lot. It's like Diddy did one. Katy Perry does one. A lot of them do that whole, I had acne and it made me feel really bad about myself. And now I am proactive and now I'm happy again. Yeah. And this is the thing. They can all afford proactive. So you're basically <laughs> just going there to get paid. Right. And you're going to stand there and hold it more closely up to your face. Now to me, that would make me want to go jump off a fucking building. <laughs> okay. I felt weird when I first started doing advertising on this thing. But what I what I try to do is like, oh, at least like I'll try to make these things fucking funny. But I'm not against taking like you know um, advertising money. Mm-hmm. I guess if you really believe in it, like the shit that I've I've read on this stuff, the stuff that I believe in, <laughs> right? I fucking read it, and then if it sounds fucking stupid to me, well, you know where you're I going just, with this one. <laughs> I do. I just say it sounds stupid. What am I going? I'm just saying. <laughs> it wasn't, you know. Look, it was beyond Sherry's Berries and Nature's Box. There's, there's some shit that fucking didn't even make the podcast. There was there was one thing that I read when I wasn't even thinking one week. It was some some fucking banker thing. And my buddy, who, you know, Andrew, who, who, you know, puts the whole all the list together and everything that I read. He was in banking. He said, Bill, these guys, they're tricking people. They're doing this and they're going to fuck over your listeners. So I immediately took it off. And I was they were supposed to do a three week thing. And I had read one of them and I just. Told my ad lady, said, "Listen, just take them off. That first one's a free one. Up, they don't have to pay me, but I don't want to read. I don't want to read because you know I don't. I don't have time to fucking look at all of those things. Mm-hmm. So sometimes I will read something that I don't believe in, <laughs> and then if I'm smart enough and I catch it as I'm reading it, I make fun of it. That's what I do. I make fun of it and say it's shit, and then they get mad, right. and they yell at me." Or yell at my ad lady, and then we just go, all right, well, we're not going to fucking, you're not going to be on the podcast then. It's cool. Right. Which is funny. So I can't, you can't get fired off your own podcast. So, um, look, I'm not saying that, like, you know, I don't want people thinking that I'm sitting there saying that I'm this righteous fucking person. I'm not saying that. But there's definitely, you know, there's, I, 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 there's always, there's always selling out. There's all, and unless you just completely don't, don't give a fuck. You, you never gave a fuck, and you're just like, look, if you're gonna pay me, I'm gonna fucking do it. Then, then I, feel I, like I but it's I, less about selling out and more about like survival, and more about like you know, let me just sort of hit everything. No, that if you I need the fucking money, if you need, look, if yeah. you're sitting there in a house and they're gonna throw you out, and then Kit Kat comes up, says, hey, we want you to wear a thong <laughs> and go down a water slide backwards. I mean, you gotta sit there and be like. Ah, fuck, man. I got to do it. I mean, I can't be yeah, out in the fucking street. Not, maybe it's not their first choice to, you know, be paid by Hagen dazs to yeah, come out but, of. But he's also, they're also having a, you know, a wedding in, or whatever in, in Versailles, and that shit's got to be paid for. I, I, but listen. So Hagen dazs paid for that. Look, I'm not saying, <laughs> I'm not saying that, that if you do that, you sold out. But I, I'm not saying that if you do it, you didn't. It all depends on, on the person after they did it. After they fucking did it, how did they feel? If they thought, fuck, that was great, that was easy money, blah, 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 and they continue on, then I don't think they sold themselves out. I really, th- At this point in my life, I feel like selling out is, is, is a personal thing. And as much as fans will accuse of you of, of a person of it or whatever, um, that it's just speculation because it really comes down to the person. Like, like a lot of musicians now, I mean, because the whole star-making thing went away – there is no MTV. There is no videos. There is there. There aren't these labels in these CD stores now. It really is on your own. It you know back in the day when I was growing up, if 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 your music was in a car and it was in any commercial, you were a fucking sellout. 
And, and like that really, like people would just say, he's a fucking sellout. He took the corporate buck and all that. It was a right. really thing because there was all these other ways, I think, then where you could you could still be this big person. But now – be like this pure artist, uncorrupted by the system that you're trying to get into and that's kind of the whole fucking point of it? Nah, nah, see, now that I disagree with it. I just, I just, I disagree with that because what you're saying is either you're a fucking whore sucking dick or you're this lonely bastard rather no. than, 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 than you can be in a healthy fucking relationship. There's plenty of people that look, there's plenty of people that, that are in this business and they, they just do their movies or they just do their TV show. There's a zillion people that, and you don't see them going like, I'll tell you when I come home from work and I want to relax, I fucking mm-hmm. blah, 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 blah. There's plenty of people that don't do that. Now I'm not saying that they're any better than the people who decide like, yeah, fuck it. I'll take the money to go do a product. I actually like that product or whatever. Uh, I'm, I'm really saying that it's, it's an individual, it's an individual thing. All right. How you want to be perceived, you know, how you want to go about this business. And I think the more that people do it, the less, um, the, uh, the, the less it's going to have like that stigma. Like, I mean, you see a lot of these movie stars that are doing it, the commercials now, it's because people stole movies. So right now, basically, the only movies that they make, it's this shrinking puddle. The only movies that they make now are either those hundred zillion dollar Transformer Godzilla things where even though they're going to be on a pirate bay, um, people still will hopefully want to get the experience or it's going to be a low budget thing. The thing that got killed was the 30, 50, 60, 80 million dollar movie. Those things are gone. Not totally. But if you, you get like a Martin Scorsese behind it, you can right. get the thing okay. made. But like like – I don't have the exact numbers. I was talking to my agent about this because I'm seeing a lot. I'm seeing a lot of movie stars all of a sudden going back to doing stand up. I'm seeing a lot of them doing like like uh, commercials and all that type of thing. It isn't right. co- necessarily because they want to. It's because the business has changed and is going in the direction of the uh, of, of of the music well, business. So then, so then, yeah. So then, I to that end, then they. I don't think they can be accused of, of selling out either. You know, because of everything that you said. So. I don't think you can you can you can accuse anybody of selling out, but the only person who knows, I feel, is exactly. the person who did it. If afterwards, when you fucking you walked out of there, if you felt like you needed a shower, if you just you know you're sitting there and drag, fucking whatever the fuck you're doing, whatever job it is that you're doing, um, and believe me, I I've had those. I just don't feel like it affects people's brands or images in that way anymore like i just don't know i don't like either it's a thing i don't that, either like, people thought like kanye even getting involved with kim kardashian let alone marrying her and singing of the praises of her and her family was gonna like destroy his fan base and no no, no way it's not happening if anything it's well, gonna here, make here, it even bigger here's one for you this is how much this business has changed with the perception back in the day if you were a movie star you were a movie star and you did not do tv that was considered a major right. fuck up I mean, you could start in the business doing yeah, your yeah. commercials, mm-hmm. and then once you got to the TV level or something, it was really hard when you were a TV star. Like, they wouldn't even look, oh, people see you on TV. You are this. You are that. You know, you're a commercial actor. You're a movie star. You're a TV star. And then you know, over the years, it started to, like, you know, I mean, it was, an, it was still it was an amazing thing back in the day when a guy like Bruce Willis went from moonlighting, and then he did Die Hard, mm-hmm. and all of a sudden he was this fucking movie star. I mean, that was that was like... That was still an amazing thing to do. And now it's like people jump back and forth, which I think is, um, is a cool thing. But way back in the day. It's smart. Who, 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 is, TV who, who is that? Who is that, um, that, that actor, uh, that actress? We, went, um, we went, went to that party and turned out she had lived uh, around the corner. Uh, African-American actress from like the 30s or 40s dated that fucking. Dorothy Dandridge. Yeah. Now she dated this guy or married this, this white dude who had a fucking supper club. Yeah. And he marries her and is convincing her that she should go down there as a movie star and sing at his supper club in Hollywood. That is not going to be filmed. Nobody's going to see it. Right. And all of her friends begged her, don't do that. Right. That's going to kill your fucking movie career mm-hmm. if you as a movie star are seen singing in this supper club and she, yeah. out of love for this guy who turned out to be not a good guy. She mm-hmm. did it and it actually hurt her movie career. So back then – you know, like like how hardcore those lines were back then. I don't think that that exists anymore. But I, I have to tell you, though, there are certain people 
that I don't want to see doing a fucking Snickers commercial, Laura. Right, yes, I know. Yeah. How did you feel when you saw Joe Pesci in the, the Snickers commercial? I didn't mind. It didn't like, hurt my opinion of Joe Pesci. It was well, this funny. Is, this, he was in it for like two seconds. Th- this is the, but those things are well written in the way it is, is what they're actually saying is you're not yourself. Right. So there's almost this way that they it's, – it's a really slick way to get the celebrity in and out where right. they, they don't – they can just sort of not have to take a full shower, just sort of dab their forehead, <laughs> take their bag of money yeah. and, and leave. Mm-hmm. Look, I'm not saying I, I would never do one of those, but as of right now – like, I just feel like, uh, I don't know. I, I like telling my jokes and I like doing the acting gigs that they give me. And I think that at the end of it all, you want to have uh, quality. Yeah, you want to have quality. Course. And I don't, and, and I just always, I always feel like when something that comes down the pike that is just a money fucking gig, there's always that, okay, I could take this or. I could just do a couple extra weekends of stand up and I could make up, you know, some of that money and, and, yeah. and then I don't no, have I that. that. But I mean, we all got our fucking <laughs> shit when we were coming up. Everybody's got some student films and shit that you, I mean, like that stuff I don't count. But I really feel that, uh, you know, um, I, I, but I, I, at the end of it, I thought I, I just I just feel it's a personal thing. Mm-hmm. They're like, look, there's, there's people who they get sick of doing the road. And it's like, I don't want to fucking go out there anymore. I don't want to fucking deal with the check spots. I don't want to deal with the drunks after the show. I just, I just, I don't want to get on another fucking airplane. Okay. I've had it. The old me wanted to do that. I did that. And I proved that I could do that. If you want me to go do a fucking commercial and take this fucking money and I'm a day and a half and it pays my mortgage for the year, I'll do it. And I don't think there's a fucking thing wrong with that. There you go. Okay? I don't think there's anything wrong with it. There you go. And unless, <laughs> unless afterwards you, you feel like, like a filthy fucking...